Colin. Yes. What's your topic? I want to talk about our morning routine. Woo! Mm, yeah. Do a lot of things in the morning. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what you guys do in the morning and and uh, you know how you prepare for the day. And uh, I will say that on week weekends, I don't really have any any anything that I do. I just mm. get up and I just do whatever the fuck it is I want to do. On weekdays when we have to go to work, I usually Cheryl gets up a lot earlier than I do, so I only sleep from like twelve to five or so, and then like the next hour or two are like really just like lucid dreams for me. And I always like wake up like every fifteen minutes because I'm just like a nervous person. And then I eventually roll over and I get my computer and I check my email and do all these things. And then I usually like watch like hockey highlights or read the news or whatever. Then sometimes I work out and then I take a shower. I think most of the time you work out. Yeah. And now it's the, when I'm in the bathroom that very specific things happen. Here we go. In a very specific order. Mm-hmm. And I'm so OCD about it that if I do it out of order, I have to do it all over again. Wow. So I use this is one thing that my friend taught me in college. and I've been doing it ever since. And I pass it on to other people. You're passing it right now. We're not, it's Welcome not, to the it's circle, not when you best fart friends. On the wall. No, 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 no. Okay. This is a this is a cleanliness thing. Okay. Uh, I always start with green mouthwash in the morning. Okay. And at, and at night I do it too. But I only swish it for about twenty or thirty seconds, and then I take a toothbrush and I brush my, my teeth with it in my mouth, like the, the the mouthwash in my mm-hmm. mouth for about twenty or thirty seconds. This is a, this is a, Wait, so you're like doing like you're swishing around? Yeah. And, and then, then you I, don't and spit. Then, no. You just put I, the toothbrush. Yeah. Okay. And this is apparently to loosen up the plaque and do all these things to keep you healthy. Smart. Then I derobe and I get I get in the shower and I brush my teeth in the shower as we talked about I just for some reason I don't know why I just imagined the first time the Khaleesi got naked in Game of Thrones Mm -hmm. just in my head very similar I don't remember that part tell me uh, I think it's when she gets in the bath when her brother's there first episode it's like the first episode isn't it yeah when she's like like the girl like I mean she gets out of it maybe and the guy like like her handmaidens sort of clothe her and her brother's there Brother. She was getting in and I'm out of the I'm glad it was such a, a great, great, a great she, scene I just, for you. I just think about the Khaleesi naked. She gets naked. in the bath. They're out of the bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it, she walks into the bath. It's very similar. Hot. It's very similar. Yeah, so that's, no, that's the end of the episode. Yeah. Wasn't there another part? It doesn't matter. Continue, Colin. Sorry. I was thinking Colin, about when got naked. Wow. <laughs> You're like, I really like that Hodor's dick. <laughs> um, yeah, big old dick. He got a big hog down there, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Uh, Did you see it? Do you remember that? No, I'm not kidding. Wait, we seen Hunter's dick? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't. I didn't watch. It was last fucking season. like a baby's arm. I I said when, not what did it look like. But season okay. two, Where episode four. Oh, I don't remember that. I saw. Season you just two. made that up. Yeah, but it could be right. That- <laughs> I don't remember. It's just like me. Was. Greg totally called me out. He was like, "What part of the episode exactly did you see your neck?" And I was like, "I don't fucking remember, dude. It's been like five seasons, four seasons. Who knows how many?" You're like I grill you on that, and I'm like, maybe I just missed Hodor's dick. <laughs> 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 Do you really uh, see Hodor's dick? Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's it's really and fucking huge. It's it's like the real actor's dick, or yeah, is it like a I don't, I don't know. The, I don't know the details. I'm hoping that it's a prosthetic dick, because, because if man. not, I got a lot of catching up to do in the dick yeah, department. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's <laughs> genetic. You're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Well, they have those pumps. They do penis enlarging pumps. Yeah, have you well, seen these? You, you're Austin brushing powers. your teeth yeah. with right. the stuff in your mouth. Yeah. So I br- <laughs> all right. So I get in the shower, brush my teeth. Now, then I do things in a very specific sequence. I, I have okay. a loofah, okay, and I use bar soap. Now, ivory. Or, or uh, Irish Spring, rather. I don't like uh, the Irish stuff. Oh, like it's Irish Spring. spring. Yeah, Irish Spring. Like Wait, it. you put the like bar on the loofah? Yeah. So then I take the loofah and put it on How hot water, and then I and then I rub it all over the loofah. I I use a liquid soap. The liquid soap, I don't bottle. like it because you go do it too quick. You go through it really quickly. You do, but it's easier to. It suds faster. It gets a nice lather faster than the actual bar like soap. I use the. Uh, uh, don't. We're gonna get to your routine here in a second. I don't really have much routine. Go ahead. Sorry. Continue. That's okay. So then I wash the neck. And then, you know, the chest, the back, the arms, the torso, the crotch. The cro- How long do you spend on the crotch region? Just a few seconds. Do you seconds. wash your face, your hair? Not yet. Okay. Not sorry? yet. Just, oh, sorry? Go all the way down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, it's hard for me, mostly because I'm just too lazy. Uh, I, like, wash, like, the top of my feet. Now, I get back to that in a little while. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> then I take the loofah and, I, and, I, and I, I, I rinse it out or whatever. Then I use shampoo. Yeah. And I wash my hair. Then I use conditioner. Now I leave. I like. I do conditioner because I get like dandruffy if I don't use conditioner. Okay. I don't know why, but that's what happens. It's just your chemical makeup of your scalp. And then I leave the conditioner in. Mm-hmm. And now I take the bar so back. So you're smart. A lot of people don't leave the conditioner in. You got to read the directions. If it's good conditioner, it has to be in there for like two to three minutes. Right. Right. You got to keep it in there. Yeah. So I leave it in, and then I take the soap back, and then I I lather up. Uh, this is when I'll, I'll I'll go down and actually bend over and wash my feet and like my ankles and stuff like that. And then I'll wash my uh, ears so bent over and my point. earrings. Are you still bent over at this point? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wash like back my ear, my ear, my ear, my earrings. And then uh, I wash my face. 
and then I rinse it all off. And at what point out. do you fart on the wall? It, it, it could happen at any time. Okay. And sometimes it doesn't happen at all. When you... Mm. Interesting. Uh, and then I got out of the shower. Now, I was so OCD back in the day. I'm not quite as bad anymore, but I was so OCD that if I realized that I missed, like, a part of it, that I'd, like, start washing my ear before I wash my, like, you know, or I wash my face before I start washing my ear or something like that, I would do the whole thing again. And I don't know why. This was, like, a whole... Because this is, like, a ritual. Mm. And then I got out of the shower and I dry off. Then I use my deodorant. I put my face... I put my lubricant on my hands, my arms, and my face. I used and to then pop, I'm out. Yeah, I use a lubricant sometimes. When I go into your bathroom, this is very. Oh, do you? It's good. I, like, I just like the word lubriderm. I like the word lather. I was gonna say lather's a good word. Times, lather's good. a really lather's good word. Great word. Uh, so that's basically my morning routine. And then I get dressed, and then I uh, I go to work. Now, when I leave the house, this is a whole other ordeal of OCD. Yeah. Oh yeah. I walk around, and make sure everything's unplugged, and then I stand by the oven and the stove, and I make sure all of the handles are every off. day. Yeah. Every day. Then I stand it's by the. Then I stand by the door and I just listen. To make sure all the water is off everywhere. For the record, Tim said it's a good thing you have him. Sure, except for on Saturday morning when I turn on the toaster oven and then I walk off and I come back and put some. Like, God damn it, Colin! <laughs> I plug the toaster oven in. <laughs> and then uh, and then I lock the door and then I just shake it for a few seconds. No, yeah. don't be that person. Yeah. And, I know uh, people like that. That's yeah, that's where you're gonna draw the line. And, and then every once in a while, listening for the water running. Well, then, fine, whatever. And then every once no. in a while, I leave the house and then I come back and make sure the door is locked. And then I leave again. I'll yep. do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. No, I haven't done that in a long you time. Just live for the. That was about. That I had a, a, a bout of OC like this when I lived in home. No, I don't know, like seventh, eighth grade or whatever. Where it'd be one of those things. I'd wake up. I couldn't sleep because I'd be worried if the garage door was down. Then I go downstairs, unlock the door, look at the garage door, come upstairs. All right. Then I get. I lock the door to the garage. I come back down. I'd lock. I'd make sure the door was locked. Then I go upstairs. Like, well, why didn't I check the garage door? Then I go back in. The process would uh, yeah. repeat, 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 repeat. Man. So what are your guys' uh, processes in the morning? So for me, I if it's a weekday, so like I'm going to work, I'll, I'll wake up and I'll set my alarm for way earlier, like an hour earlier than I need to get mm. up. Because I like doing that thing where I wake myself up. because it feels up. good. To it just, yeah, yeah, it just makes me feel better. Like, oh, I still got an hour to sleep. This is going to be awesome. I hear it's really bad for you, but I do a lot of things that are bad for me. Mm-hmm. And Terrible. so I'll do that, and then an hour later, it'll go off. And then I do the game every morning of, okay, how long can I actually sleep for? Like, when do I have to get up? And now Kevin picks me up in the morning, most mornings. Good job, Kevin. So I need to be there when he's when he's there. So I'm just like, shit. So I'll do the math there, and every day I push it just a little more. Because you know he's going to wait for you. He's not going to leave you. Kevin's not going mean, to leave you. I mean, he would leave me. Would he, he would definitely, definitely leave me. Right. You got him this job. Show some respect. So. Jesus, Kevin. I do that shit, and then I just push that limit, and then it reaches the point where I'm like, okay, I have to get up if I'm going to shower this morning. Now, lately, there's been a lot of mornings that I'm like, guess what? I'm not showering today. <laughs> like, fuck that. We know. Oops. Yeah. Greg and I sit next to you at work. Yeah. It's pretty, it's bad. You don't it's, smell ever, but sometimes you look like the dirty kid in class. I'm pretty dirty looking, yeah. and it's bad. So, but recently, <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. Sorry. But when I don't do that, I'll get up, get in the shower. And my routine, I have a... a Routine the shower similar to yours, where I do the things in the order. I don't have to go back if I fuck mm-hmm. it up, though. I'm okay with it. I'm just more like, how do I fuck that up? I do this every right, day. Right, right, right. It happens. Yeah. It happens. I also brush my teeth in the shower. People judge me for that. And no, it's perfect. It's awesome. Fuck right do you off. store your toothbrush in the shower? Outside the shower. Yeah, okay. Too. But I bring it with me. Because at night, you need to... So when you're done, like in your routine, you're in there in the shower, brushing your teeth, then you reach back out and put it down? I put it on top of the, the door, and then when I get mm. out... I open the door, I dry myself off, then I take the toothbrush and dry it off and put it back in. I see. Is there not like any like fuzzies or anything on top of the door? No, of the I shower? clean the shower. Okay. I miss the tinkle. The morning tinkle. You miss the tinkle? What does yeah. that mean? After I get up, you pee before you go in the shower. You gotta do that. Oh, sure, yeah. I need to pee every morning. That's like the first thing that has to happen. I need you ever to pee, pee every in the shower. morning? I'm not... A, I, it's weird, because I'm the type of guy that would be a supporter of that yeah. stuff. But I, I, I like don't do it. I like. I just don't do it. I do it every once. I don't do it all the time. But every once in a while, I'm just like, yeah. the hot water hits you. Mm-hmm. You kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, kind of relaxed. You're yeah, like, all right, I'm gonna go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyone that doesn't that says they don't pee in the shower on occasion, they're lying. I'm not against it. I just it's not something that I'm like. No, I don't look for. I don't get out in the morning and be like this. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna run to the shower to take a piss. Have you ever uh, shot in the shower? <laughs> I, I can't even say that was straight face. No, oh, I've never done good. it. I've come close though. There have been times when I've like had a bad stomach where I'm like. 
like a fart turns almost Ooh, into a one. shit. I'm, yeah. And you're like, mm. uh-oh, and you have to just jump out. That's the worst. My, I have this conversation a lot with my brother where we're like, it's it, the worst possible thing that can start your day is when you, you're like, I'm good. You get in the shower. Oh, you're done this. with your yep. regiment. And you're like, I, I got to take a shit. I got to yeah. go to the bathroom right now. You got to get out of the And no matter what, you, you can't really dry yourself off all yeah. the way because then your towel is going to be sopping wet and cold by the time you get back in and redo everything Probably. you just did. Because you can't take the chance that it, everything's not clean, right? Have you ever had that happen where you're like, you do oh, it yeah. and you come back and you're like, yeah. maybe everything's not as clean yeah. as I thought it was. And like, it's the worst. It's the worst yeah, ever. You got to keep going and doing the thing. And then you get out of the shower, you get your towel. It is already, it's cold and stop, stopping wet no matter what. And you slip because there's water everywhere all over the damn place. It's yeah. the worst thing on the planet. So I'm in the shower doing the whole process. But for me, besides all just like the what I'm actually doing, it's more about what I'm thinking about. Yeah. I'm thinking about what I have to do during that day. I'm thinking about what, what shoots I have to do, what dumb bullshit I got to help Greg with. And, uh, <laughs> for those of you uh, listening, no, at no, home, no, that's they gotta come watch a YouTube video. For Greg me. is pantomiming the masturbation. Oh shit! Uh, I thought that was Tim rolling the dice on what he's gonna do that day. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, he was just going yeah. through. He's like, is it gonna be my he's guys, in the shower, my guys and dolls day? Where I'm like, luck be a lady tonight. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I want to know. He's beating that thing. Beat my god! Love. Beat that wiener dog's head. But what I'm really thinking about is what am I gonna wear today? And in that process is what did I wear yesterday? What do I do? I, do I yeah, is th- there any day this week that I want to wear something specifically? And this goes. This happens every day. Every day you worry about yeah. the day. You have yeah, to wear yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, okay, if I do, I need to be on camera for anything today. Does that matter? Uh, do right. I wear things that I'm not okay wearing on camera? And I'm like, every single day I have these these same questions. And yet and it's somehow hard. it's always a black shirt, the black V-neck? dark jeans, and Air Force Ones. First Air off, Force Ones. I would never wear Air Force Ones. <laughs> But well, you get to stomp in your air. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Not you don't like to stomp around Air Force Jordans, ones. yes. Air Force Ones, no. Um, but yeah, so I have a rotation of clothes that I'll wear. And I try... There's a couple of standards that I'm like always go to the go-tos. Mm-hmm. And then there's some that like I'll put back in the closet. And then like every couple of months I'll bring back. So come tell me the, the decision on this. The Game Over Grace shirt today. A polite a surprise to me. I was excited oh, yeah. to see it. I, yeah. You don't usually wear our stuff. It was a calculated move apparently. Well, this is Nick's shirt. <laughs> Oh, well, that's calculated. Right. I yeah, give it back to me. So I need to give it back to give you. Give it back right now. Also, let's trade. I'm now in the the worst Tiny. part of the shower thinking process, where it's like, fuck, I haven't done laundry for a while. Oh, I'm so this is where place. the shirt comes mm-hmm. out. So the shirt. Well, also because I knew that if I wore a black V neck today, Nick was going to give me so much shit. Why do I? I don't give you shit for wearing the black V neck. Well, I know, but like, I knew that you would have today. It's just every once in a while the stars align at at IGN. And I walk in and everyone's a wearing a black, a black V-neck. Yeah. You, it's James, it's Alex. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Ty Root, for starting that before you left. No, 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 no. Yep. Ty Root has the black crew neck. He, Ty Root does What's wear the crew difference? necks. You were wearing a crew neck. Okay. V-neck is the one that goes down to like your belly button. No. Who started that? Alex Solomia? I don't know who started that. It just became a thing where it was like, it's like a dress I'm, I'm code. Gonna, me and Alfredo, I say we'll take credit for that. We're the first ones with it. Because it's not just a black V-neck. It's the express yeah. black V-neck. Yeah. So, I'm going to take that. Tyroot okay. has the crew, though. And me and Brian Malkowitz, we both bought black crews in honor of Tyroot. They call so it the Tyroot yeah. when you go into the Gap to buy them. So, these are all things you have to think about. I'm like, is Brian Malkowitz going to wear this day? Do I want to be twinsies? Do I not? Whatever. And then I'll get out of the shower and put on that outfit. Go back, get up my stuff, make sure I have my wallet, my phone. I'll do the tap down. Yeah. You know. And then... Oh, I forgot doing my hair. That's a big thing. Mm. How long does this take, your hair? Not as long as it should. I wish that I put more time into it. I don't. You got great hair. Yeah, you, gotta, you do you have really good hair. So you got to just I, like, enjoy it Lately, I've just been kind lasts. of tossing the shit in, taking the comb, and just being like, shit, okay, Kevin's fucking already outside because he's early as shit. You got to stop coming early, dude. He's no, honking. Kevin, let's get okay some pies. Kevin, keep him on his toes, Kev. But, but keep yeah. him on his toes. So, And then I'll come to work, and I refuse to do work until I get coffee. I don't even like coffee. You don't. What's funny is, but your, your idea of a coffee, by the way, is, is a caffeinated a hot chocolate. Yeah. He walks in and goes, let me get a mocha. I don't and, even need to say it. Time. They know. Oh, they know. They just fucking know. Now, here's the thing. I would just get hot chocolates. But you I feel like that would be weird. No. Yeah. Like, My yeah, favorite thing about the Nick and Tim relationship is that 60 
to 65% of the day is spent outside procuring coffee or some other accoutrement uh-huh. Uh-huh. where I will leave at random times and run into you on the streets. Uh-huh. I will be at Paragon with an up at noon guest and I will look out the window and I will see you motherfuckers walking back from Starbucks. And it's uh-huh. just like, Jesus. It turns out that Tim and I both share one thing in common. We do a lot of our good thinking on our feet. Yeah. If the thinking's either in the shower or on the feet and it's weird when we shower together. I can't shower with him anymore so. since not, not since the restraining order. Yeah. Um, it's weird because you don't know who's who's jerking what <laughs> when you're in a shower with another man. Again, you're rolling the dice on who gets to go first really and who are. watches who's back. Wow. It's like when Colin, it's just that image I have in my head of Colin just slowly bending over to wash the top of his His feet. ears. His ears. like the Khaleesi. <laughs> a little no, like a little no secret, by the way, is I walk around this house naked all the time. Oh, I walk around my oh, house All naked. the time. All the time. When? All the time. I might, and I, this isn't me being a about it. I'm here a lot. I know when you guys aren't. And I'm, I'm fucking naked. Well, there's actually those place. funny times when you don't know and you like go work out and then I'll be like, hey, Steimer says you're waking her up or whatever. You're like, oh, sorry, I didn't know she was here. Well, that's not me walking around naked. Sure, that's, I that's know another, that. I'm not accounting for that. But I know, I have my ear to the, to, to, to the, you know, to the ground about the, you know, the So is this something on, you're you know. stripping down just to do? No, no, like, like instead of, you know, you take, sometimes people go to the bathroom and they take their dirty clothes off and then they bring them back in or whatever. It's a whole thing, right? Like, and you have to bring your towel back to the bathroom when you're done. Oh. I like to, I like to get naked in my room, walk to the shower naked. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dry gotcha, off, gotcha, put gotcha. the towel up and then walk back to my room. So there is no back and forth. That's it. Oh, yeah. Once I'm like in the to, bathroom, I'm in and once I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, I like to think to that, uh, the Colin doesn't just do it when you're not here. Like he knows when you're here, but like he doesn't. Yeah. Sometimes he then too. There are times and he like yeah, metal oh, gears yeah. it around, like riding in there Metal Gear 2. There are definitely times where I'm like, oh, they are home. Cartwheels. But I and I have about, I only need about three seconds, so now it's go time and then I go. I think I think everybody who watches this show knows Colin. And I knows that me seeing his dick would not it wouldn't be a big. You'd be time. impressed. Wait, have you seen oh, it? No, well, no, I've heard enough descriptions to know what I'm getting into. At this we point, should, if I was going to be impressed, each other's dicks if I was going to be impressed by your dick, it would have to be touching the ground. <laughs> the way you talk I'm about this, one hundred percent with what Tim just said. At some point, we should we put we should put a category on Patreon dicks? where if we hit a specific limit, we'll draw each other's dicks. Like what we do think we they see what the dicks? No, 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 just yeah. what we imagine the dicks to look like. Kevin, looks at, like... Kevin gets to look at each dick and decide how close <laughs> they came. No, we'll do a blind taste test with Kevin where he has to look at the dick and the figure out who's, whose dick is whom. Well, you're going to see, see our thighs. It'll be pretty obvious. Oh, you don't have to draw the thigh. Just, you can do that in foreshortening or like, or like you know, you put that in the background, you know? Okay. You're still talking about the drawings. You just do... Oh. <laughs> I'm making Kevin look at my dick. <laughs> what Patreon gold do we have to do where Kevin gets an eye full of my dick? Do you think that dick? at some point, I don't know why I think this, but I think at some point if we, and there's by all accounts, we're going to continue to do this thing that we do around this table. I have this rising suspicion that because of that, rising, yeah. we all have to see each other's dicks one day. Oh, you'll see. I'll show you whenever you want. Deal. I, I don't want to. Oh my I don't, god! I don't Please not go want outside, to. guys, right now. Look at Colin's dick. I don't. I don't <laughs> not want to <laughs> do the rest. Do the rest of the show. Colin, we'll never talk about it. I'm not adverse to seeing it. I bet it's beautiful. First it's off, Italian. that's the whole thing. Is no one's adverse to seeing anybody's no, dick here? No. We we've been together too long. It doesn't I've matter. Been, I've been in locker rooms before. I've been. I've seen a lot of other people's penises. There's that for some reason at IGN, someone tore off a little divider. What the between, fuck is up? Yeah, wait, wait, why the, the urinals? We I, all made a because, reference to it, and now it's just over, and it's normal. Kevin, I walk in, I see people. Did you do it? There's two. Two urinals. Kevin there used it. to be a wall between the urinals. The wall is now gone. What are you saying, Kevin? Just say. Kevin it. was at. They do something called the brown brown, oh, brown liquor, liquor society. Somebody tore it off at brown liquor yeah, society. They got hammered. Yeah, someone was probably oh, trash. That's too this bad. This is I why mean, I don't say drink. Now here's the thing, though. What the, one of the reasons I'm afraid of anyone seeing my dick when I'm walking around after working God. out mm-hmm. is because it's much oh, like yeah. when you go, did you take, you, you get out of the pool and everything problem. kind of just shrinks up. Yeah. Now I've often had a thought in my mind where if Greg saw my dick, then I'd be like, well, now you have to see it. I'm gonna have to show it to you later sure. because sure. I want you to. Sure. I don't want you to have this image in me. So I'm just coming into your room later and I'm gonna show it to you. I've told you this story before personally. I think if somebody at this table, I'm sure, where I went to the doctor that one time and I was like, oh, I, I want to have them inspect a mole that was down there or whatever. And so like the nurse leaves you alone. You're like, all right, cool. And this is like, I was a young kid at the point. Nowadays, I don't give a shit. But like the nurse leaves and I'm like, all right, so I start like fluffing. Like I don't want this doctor to see this dick and think yeah. this is what my dick is because I'm in a cold room. I don't, I'm totally off my game. I'm not comfortable. Obviously, these are problems. You gotta fluff. This ain't my you dick. You always fluff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. This is my dick. Look at the mole. See, I don't, well, don't don't you don't fluff. You got you just warm. That's what you got to do. Just put like 
you got if you got like a car heater and you're like a seat heater in your car oh yeah put that thing oh, on yeah. high before you go in there if you're having some sort of oh physical what or what kind of fucking physical are you getting where you're going straight from the car right in the doctor's office you go in they're like all right it'll be 30 minutes you sit there you read highlights magazine there's like, some, can you call me I'll be that's in my car why you so, gotta do <laughs> I'm warm in my dick I gotta warm, warm this my dick up <laughs> you, get, you get you take the North Face coat you put it over and you you lock the heat in and then you go into the doctor's office wow. You wrap it around the front ways. Your balls are like at your knees. Well, you know, again, like when you're like walking, point, it's, now it's I don't just care. tearing the scrotum off each ball, oh, like each leg as you walk. You know, because it's so stuck it's on the it. The worst, you know? dude. It, like, I'm telling you, having fat thighs is a big problem for me because I'm a constantly, my balls are just constantly in, in a state of flux. The bat wing. The yeah. funny thing is that I can tuck it all all away and, and, and just walk around as if I don't have a dick at all as well. The, the big thighs come. Well, you, the took big, a, you took the, it like, up like, but like, well, Who does that in a, a Buffalo, Buffalo Bill? Bill yeah. yeah, you uh, Buffalo Bill. Yeah, like, so it's, it's, a, it's a blessing yeah. and a curse in that respect. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> My morning routine. Yeah. I wake up 6.45. 7:15. I'm so early, and then you Somewhere text us because I have a long, yeah, yeah, I have a long fucking way to go. You have a car. Every you have a nice life ahead of you. Time, you're just like, like I'll be like, does Greg think that we're up at seven o'clock in the morning? Or does why he is just your not phone not on? Do not server. Learn to sleep through it. It's I just I'm just giving it. you things to wake up to that are positive. Usually, I love it. It's rare that I'm like, hey, Kevin, fuck this video up. Like, hey he guys, I'm does. warming up my dick. Hey, stop putting things in playlists that don't fucking go to the playlist because YouTube sucks. Kevin, Kevin. wake up. 6.45, 17, sometimes later, depending on how tired I am. Mm -hmm. Then I look at the love of my life, the one who warms my heart, and I say, Pertillo, do you need to go outside? Because sometimes either Pertillo, if he's sleeping down by the legs, everything's fine. But sometimes I'll wake up and he'll feel me stir and it's right this. It's right to this. Right dog in my face. I'm like, well, let's go outside right away. I'll put on pajama pants. I'll take him out. He'll do his thing. Or he just flip the script. I go right to the bathroom. Poop. First thing first. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Roll over. I turn off the alarm, look at Patillo, see what his, he's giving me body language size. Then I pick up the phone back up, write to Twitter. I want to see what's happening. What have I missed? What are people tweeting at me? At 6 a.m., you didn't miss anything. You'd be surprised what's happening in the UK. Oi! It's hmm. me, Casey McDowell. We changed our flag. trivia, do you, governor? Brought all these PS3s for you, did. <laughs> and then, look at Instagram. Then, I'm in, in between all that, I'm probably pooping. Mm. Getting that out of the way. You pooping more? Yeah, oh yeah. Big time. Big time. How many times do you poop a day? You, I'm I'm pretty regular now to the point of just just when I am in the morning. No nope. morning, I poop in the morning. It's good. Sometimes though, however, I'll tell you the ex exceptions: umami burger or a Michi's. I'm pooping when I'm done. Eat, like immediately it, after. Not immediately, but at some point in that Stumps afternoon, out. I got I'm taking another poop there. Okay. Something about the spices, I guess. They're using yeah, maybe the, those the Peruvian cheese, spices. It's probably the, it might be the cheese, but she's supposed to bind you up. It's all the grease, probably. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it yeah, it's probably those says. Peruvian spices on the, <sighs> the Michi's pizza. Didn't know about that in the recipe. No, I finished the poop. Then it's right to the sink. <laughs> then usually I brush my teeth. I'll pop out the Invisalign retainer things I wear mm -hmm. because I've, I've already done with them. Then my teeth don't mash together anymore. That's yeah. all I wanted out of it. Brush my teeth. Uh, then shave. Then shower, and then get out of the shower. Then if I haven't walked Portillo, walk Portillo. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, then go. Usually I leave the house and realize I've forgotten something, and then I'm too lazy to go back and get it. I, you Unless know. it's headphones. You never leave the house without headphones. Well, I, I bring a, ba a backup pair of headphones because I Lord. forgot my headphones so many times. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah. But more, usually it's like on Sunday. Like this was this Sunday we go grocery shopping, and I buy my food for the week, which includes a whole bunch of beef jerky, a whole bunch of Cliff Bars, and a whole bunch of yogurt. And so then it's just the struggle every Monday morning not to forget any of that shit. Mm. And so literally this Monday morning, I got my bag uh, that I had packed the night before, so excited that I didn't forget it, made it to the street, and literally as I hit the sidewalk, I was like, fuck, I didn't put the yogurt in the bag. And I looked back at the house, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do it. And just walked down, got bought a bagel. Far. Got yeah. too far. Yeah, once I'm outside, I want to do it. Then I, then I, you have the, in, the fucking indignity of buying the bagel from Ironside, coming into work and finding out, oh, we bought bagels. Well, why it's the bagel fuck Tuesday isn't anyone goddamn time. texting me? I want to text at 6 a.m. I woke up at 5 o'clock in, in the morning, and I know... What was up? That's a good Greg impression. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's a good that's Greg my impression. impression. That's my routine. It's boring. It's not nothing too exciting. I get on the Muni. Yeah, I wish one of us had, did something super crazy. What's your? Oh, story? you're looking at me now. I'm hoping you do something crazy. I mean, no, I don't Nick do does not do something crazy. crazy. I do. I do do this weird thing where I, I do the same thing you do. First of all, which I set my alarm way too early, and then I since I drive myself to work, sleep through it until I just feel like waking up. Mm. Let's be honest. 
uh, then I so took what my time phone. do you get up? You're yelling at me for getting up too early. Went to, I, and I I now get up late. I, I used to get up when I'd go running. I'd get up at five, and then when I was like fuck that, I'd get up at six, and I try to be work Lord. by eight because I like being at IGN early. That's weird. I would make myself no. No one's sick there to fucking get in your way. <laughs> you get you get things done. Yeah, I know, but then you still have to work till like five thirty, which is like wow, it's so long. Anyways, I work up. I wake up at about eight generally. That's good. That's good. Uh, shower. Do the whole shebang. When I lather, I do it with a uh, shea butter, oh. uh, that kind of like brown sugar shea butter smell, like like body wash. I think that's what it's called. Cocoa butter, I think maybe. I didn't go into um, this. I'm sorry. I want to point. I want to give a shout out to Christine Steimer, of course. Christine Steimer has gone down this road now of the all organic products, mm-hmm. which I fought for a long time. But she gave me this body bar that's coffee and like oatmeal or whatever. Fucking, I want to eat this thing every goddamn morning. It smells so good. <laughs> and then I use a shampoo and conditioner that are just amazing too. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I get out uh, and I generally go to Starbucks every day. That's what really starts my morning oh. off. That makes sense. Every day I go to Starbucks that and I get sense. a venti iced yeah. coffee. The fact that he walks in with a goddamn coffee cup from Starbucks every day? You just put that together? I, what? I mean, to be honest, I thought he just kept the one from yesterday and just like used that. You think like, Nick Scarpino is in baller? Nick Scarpino Nick is in baller. baller. Like, no, tell you what. I didn't know you go in the morning. Though. <laughs> yeah, I go in the morning, every morning. So I'm usually at Starbucks by about 9 and 9.15 sometimes if I'm, if I'm running a little behind, which I generally am. Go there and I try to debate whether or not I should buy breakfast at starbucks you should not do that it's a terrible idea because I, i'm addicted to the thing called the protein pack which is oh. three oh. slices of apples an egg the fry the, the fried the, the little uh, weird laven thing yeah the, the there's the there's hard-boiled egg a little bit of like an unlavened bread thing that yeah. has a like a, a raisin in it and then some grapes and some peanut butter this thing's like five bucks it's incredibly expensive for what you get and i'm addicted to it so sometimes i can talk myself out of getting that and into getting a kind bar which i've stopped eating now because they sort of hurt my damn teeth because let's be honest kind bars went from being sort of a health bar to now they're just made of chocolate and or caramel making them more of a candy bar mm. so i digress uh then i just go to work yeah i've and seen I, you get pissed off when they don't have your little packs oh i don't like that i'm shit. just like it's really yeah, i need funny. it i need it because it's like it's good it's a good little energy boost i enjoyed it when they used to have the Bacon, egg, and ham sandwich. Mm-hmm. But then they started putting the bacon, egg, and ham sandwich on this weird ass bread. It's yeah, disgusting. they're doing some weird stuff. With I don't that. like that at all. Bring back the ciabatta. Ciabatta's what's all about. Oh, the ciabatta bread was good. That gouda. I that got it. Ciabatta, gouda. as they say. Ooh. Yeah, I don't do anything crazy. Um, no, nothing. Okay. I mean, what are you gonna say, Tim? I no. It's over. Yeah. That's it. Over. Yeah. Okay. That's all we got. Mm-hmm. Those are those are morning. None routines. of us watch porn in the morning. No. Nothing. I, I, my or, or read, or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Read, read porn. porn in the morning. I mean, once in a while, if I'm feeling watch. frisky, I'll look at like Gone Wild on Reddit, sure. see what they're up to. If Sometimes, I'm feeling frisky, what are they up to over wild. there? Yeah. So every once in a while, like if I was looking at something the night before and it's still on my phone, you'll continue I, I, the story. I check my phone. In the morning, first thing. I don't sure, know why. I just sure. I, like, a lot, I have a bunch text. of notifications. I read the novel that is Greg Miller's fucking text. Sorry, I want to keep you up to date about the good news. No, I love it. I love. It. I loved it especially today when you were like, "Hey, great news!" Melissa Joan Hart just started following all of us, and I was like, "That's that, what you tweeted us." Is, oh, is that is that what I, I said? talked about? Kevin Smith. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. That's great. No, I, I always love your your great news. But yeah, Melissa I, Joan I, Hart I, followed all of y'all motherfuckers except and Sean Finnegan and did not follow me. <laughs> You're pissed I'm about really that. She also, she also followed Alexis Kazamba. Yeah. She did. I got a text from Alexis who I think is still in Hawaii. Yeah. And was like, did, did Melissa Joan Hart just follow you? And I was like, I think so. She's like, why did she follow us? And I'm like, don't ask why God works in mysterious ways. Man. He just does. It's a good way of putting it. I want the cat to follow me. Then all you guys will be jealous. True Same. story. The guy who did the cat's voice. And now, hold on. Actually, I'll just tell you the story. True story. The guy who does the cat's voice was none other than Lex Luthor in the Superboy TV show. Now, true story on top of that, I'm just going off my audio cues. I never did the research on that, but I assume I'm right on that one. I that also seems like think I'm right that about. it's and Eric it's also- Matthews' best friend from... Dave Matthews? No. no. From no. Boy Meets Because he was old. He was old. He wasn't young. Sabrina the Cat? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, wait. No. Maybe... It- Sailing the Cat. It might have been Thank Binks the much. Cat from Hocus Pocus that he's the voice of. That's very much correct, yes. Okay. Now, here's one for you. Are you ready? Is it a deep cut? If you remember on top of all that... This guy was also on Seinfeld, and I believe. No, I'll fuck that up. But he was on Seinfeld. I can picture him, but I can't tell you what, who, what character he was. Yeah, I can't tell you what character he was off the top of my head. We'll have to get him on the show eventually, too. I'll fi- I'm going to follow this thing.